we shall now deal with some problems on integration. Question number one, integral of sin cube x plus cos cube x divided by sin square x into cos square x. Options are, first option secant x minus cosecant x plus constant c and second option secant x plus cosecant x plus c. Third option sin x minus cos x plus c. Fourth option sin x plus cos x plus c. Okay, let us see how it goes. We will split the fraction into two parts, two partial fractions and integrate sin cube x by sin square x cos square x dx plus cos cube x by sin square x cos square x dx. You can see one sin square x part can be cancelled and you are left with sin x by cos square x. Again sin x by cos x is tan x and we get secant x into tan x here plus cos cube x by cos square x will give me a cos x, cos x by sin square x that is cos 1 cos by sin is cot, cot into cosecant. This is the derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x, this is the derivative of secant x. So, the integral of secant x tan x is secant x, whereas integral of cot x cosecant x is minus cosecant x. So, the answer is cosecant x minus cosecant x plus c. Therefore, the option 1 is correct. Let us move on to the question 2, integral of root over 1 plus sin 2 x dx for x belonging to the open interval pi by 2 comma 3 pi by 4. Now, we know that the options are sin x minus cos x plus c, second option sin x plus cos x plus c, third option cos x minus sin x plus c, fourth option sin x plus cos x whole square by 2 plus c. See, we know that 1 plus sin 2 x, we can write it in the form of sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x. So, the root of it will make it the root of this that is sin x plus cos x under modulus that we can write as root of root 2 times of sin of x plus pi by 4 under modulus. Sin x plus cos x we can write it as root 2 times of sin of x plus pi by 4 or cos of x minus pi by 4 that is one and the same. Now, this mod of sin of x plus pi by 4 will behave as sin of x plus pi by 4 whenever sin of x plus pi by 4 is positive, but we have to check your x is between pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4. So, x belongs to pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4. So, x plus pi by 4 will lie between 3 pi by 4 to pi because x belongs to pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4. So, in this interval where x plus pi by 4 is lying clearly sin is positive that is this argument is lying in the second quadrant. In second quadrant we know the sin is positive, sin values are positive. So, this will be positive so no need of the modulus there. So, we can remove the modulus and we do get root 2 times of sin of x plus pi by 4, I will get back to that as simply sin x plus cos x. So, this is uh, amounting to the domain has been in this domain it behaves as sin x plus cos x only. So, it is simply the integral of sin x plus cos x. So, now the integral of sin x we know is minus cos x and the integral of cos x is sin x. We need to add an arbitrary constant, integration constant c. So, clearly the right option is option 1. So, answer is in option 1. Let us move to the next question, question number 3. Integral of cot square x divided by cosecant square x plus cosecant x dx is equal to first option x minus sin x plus c, second option x plus cos x plus c, third option x sin x minus x plus c, fourth option x minus cos x plus c. 
we require to find out the integral of cot square x divided by cosecant square x plus cosecant x dx. The cot square x we will write it in terms of cosecant square x. So, cosecant square x minus 1. Again, the denominator consists of uh, cosecant square x plus cos x. So, what we will do is we will add and subtract a cosecant x. So, the numerator has been transformed like this. We will club this cosecant square x plus cosecant x into 1 and a minus of 1 plus cosecant x here. I can rewrite cos cot square x this way. So, the numerator has been replaced in this way. Now, what if you go for cot square x by cosecant square x plus cosecant x. So, I, have, I can what do we get? This by this will give me 1 d x and uh, minus of 1 plus cosecant x by we can write rewrite the denominator as cosecant x taken common into 1 plus cosecant x. So, what do we have this 1 plus cosecant x cancels here and we have 1 by cosecant x that is sin x. So, this is x minus integral of sin x dx and what does it give me? Integral of sin x is minus cos x. So, minus of minus will make it plus. So, we have x plus cos x plus c and uh, this the right option is so option 2 is the right answer. Let us move on to the question number 4. If n is a positive odd integer, then the integral of mod of x power n dx is equal to first option modulus of x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Second option x power n minus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Third option mod of x power n into x by n plus 1 plus c. Fourth option x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. We are asked to find out the integral of mod of x power n or mod of x. It is the same that is same as integral of mod of x power n as well. Now, mod x we know depends on whether x is positive or negative. N odd positive integer we are given. Mod x is equal to x for x positive and minus x for x negative. So, mod x power n will make it x power n whenever x is positive and minus x raised to the power n whenever x is negative. So, that is what is minus x power n? Minus 1 power n is minus 1 because n is odd. So, we just get a minus of x power n. So, this is simply minus of x power n because minus 1 power n, n odd number is minus 1. So, minus of x power n. So, it behaves like whenever x is negative, it is minus of x power n whenever x is negative since n is an odd integer, since n is odd integer. Okay. Now, when we integrate, we got to find with the function is branched out into two parts x positive and x negative. So, the integral of this for an x positive whenever x is positive real number mod integral of mod of x power n dx will be simply the integral of x power n dx and that is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. I can however, write this as mod x power n into x by n plus 1 because whenever x is a positive real number, there is no difference between mod x and x. I am splitting this and writing like this. Whenever x is a negative real number, then integral of mod x power n dx is now the integral of minus of x power n because mod x power n is behaving as minus of x power n and that makes it minus of 
x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Okay, that plus c of course, not a constant. This I can write it as x power n into x, but n is odd, so minus of x power n I can write it as minus x whole power n into x by n plus 1, but we know that whenever x is negative mod mod x is nothing but minus x. So, this I can replace it with mod x. So, mod x power n into x by n plus 1. You can add a constant to it. So, we observe that when x is a positive real number or a negative real number, the general form of it is in the form of mod x raised to the power n into x by n plus 1 plus c. So, the key lies here whenever x is negative, we know that uh, minus x can be replaced by mod x. That is the main point there. Therefore, the option 3 is the right answer. Let us move to the next question, question number 5, integral of tan x power 7 dx plus integral of tan x power 9 dx is equal to first option tan x power 7 by 7 plus c, second option tan x power 7 plus c, third option tan x power 10 by 10 plus c, fourth option tan x power 8 by 8 plus c. So, let us see how it goes tan x power 7 plus integral of tan x power 9 dx this is what we want. What we do is we retain this as it is tan x power 7 dx and we are going to write this as tan x power 7 into tan square x. This tan square x you can further write it in the form of secant square x minus 1 replace this tan square x with secant square x minus 1, split it into two integrals. So, we get tan x power 7 dx plus now tan x power 7 into secant square x, secant square x minus we are splitting the integral tan x power 7 into 1. So, that is this, this first and this part cancel and what are you left with? Now, it is in a standard form integral of f of x power n into f dash of x dx. It is in that type. That is the formula we can use that is equal to f of x raised to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. That is what we need to do is you just substitute f of x equal to t, then this becomes t power n, f dash of x dx is dt, integral of t power n is t power n, n plus 1 by n plus 1, so it just comes out to be this. So, what is it? Now, what is f of x for us? Tan x, tan x raised to the power n, what is n? 7. So, what should be getting? That is a, this is the derivative of tan x, so f dash of x, secant square x. So, f of x raised to the power 7 into f dash of x dx, that makes it, therefore, the integral will be, answer is integral of tan x power 7 into secant square x dx is tan x raised to the power 7 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 plus c, that is tan x power 8 by 8 and that is clearly seen in the option 4, answer is in option 4. Question number 6, integral of 1 by x into root over x minus 1 by x plus 1 dx, the first option is hyperbolic cos inverse x minus secant inverse x plus c, second option hyperbolic cos inverse x plus secant inverse x plus c, third option hyperbolic sin inverse x minus secant inverse x plus c and fourth option hyperbolic sin inverse x minus cosecant inverse x plus c. So, let us move on to this integral of 1 by x into root over x minus 1 by x plus 1. Now, what do you observe? We will rationalize the numerator. That is what we will do is we will multiply by root over x minus 1 in the numerator and as well as denominator. So, that makes it 1 by x into x minus 1 by root over x square minus 1. 
Now we will split this part into two fractions x minus 1 by x into root over x minus square minus 1. So, x by x that is 1. So, 1 by root over x square minus 1 dx minus 1 by x into root over x square minus 1. Now, this is standard integral. What is this? The standard integral cos h inverse x hyperbolic cos inverse x minus secant inverse x the c. This is a standard integral 1 by root over x square minus 1. The formula for it integral of that is hyperbolic cos inverse x and integral of 1 by x into root over x square minus 1 is secant inverse x. Answer is option 1. Let us move to the next question. If integral x square plus 2 x power 4 plus 3 x power 6 into 1 plus x square plus x power 4 raised to the power half dx is equal to k times of a x square plus b x power 4 plus c x power 6 raised to the power p plus some l plus some constant l. We got to find out k a b c. The options are first option k is equal to 1 by 3 a b c are all equal to p. Second option k is equal to 1 by 3 a b c are equal and p is equal to 3 by 2. Third option k is equal to 3 p is equal to 1 by 3 a b c are all equal. Fourth option k is equal to minus 1 by 3 a b c are all equal and p is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, let us see how this can be done. It appears to be in the form of f of x, uh, it can be brought into the form of f of x raised to the power some n into f dash of x dx. So, what I do is, now if I take this as f of x, what is the derivative of it? 2 x plus 4 x cube, that is not seen here. So, we have to modify this function, we will modify this function. We will take out an x from here. So, this x is square plus 2 x power 4 plus 3 x power 6, we are going to write this as x into x plus 2 x cube plus 3 x power 5. Further, what we will do is we will multiply and divide by 2. So, that this will be now kind of derivative of some function. This is the derivative of x square. This is the derivative of x power 4, this is the derivative of x power 6. Now, what I do is this x that we have free after taking this, this will club it here inside, take it inside. Now, what is x into 1 plus x square plus x power 4 raised to the power half? That we can write as x we will take it inside, so that makes it x square. So, x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 raised to the power half. So, we got what we wanted to be representing it in the form of f of x raised to the power some n into f dash of x. The remaining part should be in the form of f dash of x. So, I think we are able to do that. So, what is it? We can write the integral now. Integral has been this part from this I have taken out x. So, we got a 1 by 2 and then we have here, we have here x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 raised to the power half into now the derivative of this that is this was the part 2 x plus 4 x cube plus 6 x power 5. Now, it is clearly in the form of this is f of x, this is f dash of x. So, it is in the form of f of x raised to the power half into f dash of x dx and now in one of the previous problems we have just seen that f integral of f of x power n into f dash of x is f of x raised to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, what is it? We can simply make use of that. We will write this as x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 raised to the power half plus 1 that makes it 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. Now, this 2 and this 2 will cancel and we have x square plus x power 4 plus x power 6 by into 1 by 3 raised to the power this raised to the power 3 by 2 plus some constant c 
C or L of that does not matter, but what we were asked is about this k, k value is clearly 1 by 3, so k is 1 by 3. A instead of A we have 1, instead of B also we have 1, instead of C we have 1. Therefore, A, B, C are all equal, K is equal to 1 by 3. What is it raised to P? P is 3 by 2. So, we have here P is 3 by 2. So, th all these are clearly seen in the option 2. So, answer is option 2. So, let us move to the next question, question number 8. If f of x is equal to cos x minus cos square x plus cos cube x minus cos power 4 x so on so forth up to infinite many times then integral of f of x dx. We know this is an infinite g p with a common ratio as minus cos x common ratio is minus cos x. So, we have to find out the in integral. The options are first option tan x by 2 plus c, second option x minus tan x by 2 plus c, third option x minus half tan x by 2 plus c and fourth option x minus tan x by 2 whole divided by 3 plus c. Now, let us see how it goes. Now, since mod cos x is less than 1 when it is equal to 1, we cannot determine here. Okay. So, mod cos x I will assume to be less than 1 assuming this. So, whenever you have an infinite g p with a common ratio modulus of the common ratio less than 1, it is given by a by 1 minus r that is a is the first term and r is a common ratio. What is the first term here? Cos x. So, f of x can be written as cos x by 1 minus of common ratio minus cos x. So, f cos x by 1 plus cos x we can rewrite this as 1 minus 1 by 1 plus cos x. Now, the integral of f of x dx, I can write it in the form of integral of 1 dx minus 1 by 1 plus cos x. What is this? 1 plus cos x is 2 cosecant square x by 2 cos square x by 2. So, we have cos square x by 2 here and we have 1 dx. This is integral of secant square x by 2. What is the integral of secant square x by 2? That is tan x by 2 into divided by 1 by 2. So, that makes it 2, 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1. So, x minus tan x by 2 plus c. That is clearly seen in the option 2. Answer is option 2. So, let us move on to the question number 9, integral of secant x by secant x plus tan x whole square dx. First option is 1 by 2 into secant x plus tan x whole square plus c. Second option is minus 1 by 2 into secant x plus tan 2 times of secant x plus tan x whole square plus c. Third option is 1 by 2 into secant x plus tan x plus c and uh, fourth option is minus 1 by 2 into secant x plus tan x plus c. Let us see how it goes we need to find out the integral of secant x by secant x plus tan x whole square. See, if I put secant x as secant x plus tan x as t, then what is the derivative we get? Secant x tan x plus secant square x, but you just have secant x. What we will do is, we will introduce that, we will multiply and divide by secant x plus tan x. So, make this as 2 plus 1 now 3. What did I do? I multiplied by secant x plus tan x and divided by secant x plus tan x. Now, this is secant square x plus secant x tan x which is the derivative of secant x plus tan x. So, now this turns out to be secant x plus tan x raised to the power minus 3 this 2 plus 1 is 3 and then I take it up into now, the derivative of this is the derivative of secant x plus tan x. So, differential of secant x plus tan x. So, when you have f of x raised to the power n into a differential of f, it is like t power minus 3 dt. What is it? So, it is secant x plus tan x raised to the power 
minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 plus c. That is secant x plus tan x raised to the power minus 2 by minus 2 plus c. Oh, that is clearly a minus of 1 by 2 into minus of 1 by 2 into secant x plus tan x the whole square plus c and that is clearly seen in the option 2. So, answer is option 2, answer is 2. Let us move to the next question, question number 10, integral of 1 by sin x into root over sin x cos x. Options are first option root tan x plus c, second option 2 root tan x plus c, third option minus 2 root cot x plus c, fourth option 2 root cot x plus c. Let us see how this can be done. Now, all the options have either root tan x or root cot x in them. So, maybe that tan x or cot x has to be substituted as t and let us see if we can arrive at that. What we will do is inside this root, root over sin x cos x, can we write this as sin square x into cot x sin x cos x, I will write it as sin square x into cot x. So, we can free this sin square x from the root and write this as sin x into root cot x. So, we then have the integral to be 1 by sin x into sin x into root cot x dx. Now, it is clear, things are clear with us we have now cosecant square x, 1 by sin square x is cosecant square x by root cot x dx. Again, it is in the form of cot x raised to the power minus half into d of cot x, almost. Because the derivative of cot x is actually minus cosecant square x, I will compensate outside by multiplying by a minus sign. Now, it is in the form of f of x raised to the power minus f of x raised to the power minus half into f dash of x. So, that makes it minus of cot x raised to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 plus c. That is, that makes it here, what do we have here? Minus 2 into root cot x plus c. Because this 1 minus half will make it 1 by 2. Uh, 1 by 1 by 2 will make it 2. So, 2 there is a minus sign. So, minus 2 into what about this? This is root cot x plus c. It is clearly seen in the option 3. Option is answer is option 3. We are asked to find out the integral 11 question integral of f g dash minus f dash g by f into g into ln of g by f. I am dropping that x g of x f of x I am dropping that plus c and we have four options there. First option ln of g by f plus c, second option half of ln of g by f whole square plus c, third option g by f into ln of g by f plus c, fourth option f by g into ln of g by f plus c. So, let us see how it goes. Now, as you see this is close to d of g by f this is close to it d of g by f what is this f g dash minus f dash g by f square. We do not have an f square here we have f g what we do what do we do I will multiply and divide by f. So, that this g by f can be freed and we can take it that side. So, what we have here is finally, what we have is it is ln of or log of g by f into 1 by g by f into d of g by f. Because all this part, this part is differential of g by f that as we have already seen. So, now it is like log t into 1 by t into d of g by f. So, if you put g by f as some, some t, it comes comes out to be log t into 1 by t into d t. So, then it becomes 
it is like f of t into f dash of t dt. So, that becomes log t whole square by 2 the same. What is that clearly? What is t for us? g by f. So, log half of log of g by f whole square plus c. So, that is clearly seen in the option 2. Option 2 is the right answer. Let us move to the question number 12. If integral of 1 by cos cube x into root sin 2 x is equal to some a times of tan square x plus b into root tan x plus some arbitrary constant c, the way b values are. First option, a is equal to root 2 by 5, b is equal to 1 by root 5. Second option, a is equal to root 2 by 5, b is equal to 5. Third option, a is equal to root 2 by 5, b is equal to minus 1 by root 5. And fourth option, a is equal to root 2 by 5 and b is equal to root 5. Let us see how it goes. Now, all the options, in fact, the integral has a tan terms, maybe some substitution tan x is equal to t has been made. So, how do we then uh, d t has to be there cos square x is present 1 by cos square x is secant square x. So, now this also I have to write in terms of tan x let us see root sin 2 x is root 2 into root over sin x into cos x. This sin x we can write it as tan x into cos x into cos x into cos x. So, that makes it root 2 into cos square x is under root of that is cos x that into root tan x. So, this part root over sin 2 x is clearly 1 by root 2 into cos x into root tan x. So, now the integral becomes therefore, the integral is i is equal to 1 by cos cube x into root 2 times of cos x into root tan x dx. So, that is clearly cos power 4 x that cos power 4 x we can write it as secant square x into 1 plus tan square x. 1 by cos power 4 secant power 4 1 secant square x I retain another secant square x I, I split it into 1 plus tan square x and then we are left with 1 by root 2 into root tan x. Now, it is very clear from here that we do have if I put tan x is equal to t we have secant square x dx there in the numerator that is dt and it is 1 plus t square by root t. So, put tan x as then the integral becomes 1 by root 2 into 1 plus t square by root t dt. So, that can be done like this 1 by root 2 integral of 1 by root t. So, there is t power minus half integral will be t power minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 plus I am splitting the integral t power 2 by root t v that is t power 3 by 2 integral of t power 3 by 2 is t power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2. So, t power 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 that of course, we got to add a constant that we will do it later as well 1 by root 2 into this is t power half by half and this is t power 5 by 2 by 5 by 2. Now, I can write this t power half can be taken common and this 2 also this is, is 2. So, we will write uh, 2 by root 2 that is root 2 into t power half t power half into 1 plus t square by 5. I can further write this as root 2 by 5 into t power half into 5 plus t square or t square plus 5 plus c. Now, it is clear that instead of what is t? Tan x. So, root 2 by 5 into tan x root tan x into let us say tan square x plus 5 into root tan x 
the C. Now that is clearly seen in the now compare with what we are given A is equal to root 2 by 5. So, A is equal to root 2 by 5 and uh, B is equal to 5, B is equal to 5. So, A is equal to repeat A is equal to root 2 by 5 and B is equal to 5. Therefore, the right option is option 2, option 2 is the right answer.